As you add depth to the building, you simultaneously detail the roof. In Edge Mode, set Loop Mode active and select an edge on the top of the building. The whole loop gets selected. Shift Move the top of the facade forward a little bit. Next, Shift Move it up a bit until you can see the end of the roofing tiles. In Border Mode, select any edge on the perimeter of the facade. The whole perimeter gets selected. Shift Move the selected edges back to create depth. Now that the building has depth, you can finish the roof. Select the roof's back edge towards the middle of the loop and use the Grow tool until that whole loop is selected. Alternatively, you can simply use the Control key to manually select all edges. In the front view, Move the edges up until you see the peak of the roof. Moving these edges up actually gives you a slope to the roof. In vertex mode, start moving vertices down to match the bitmap of the roof. You'll notice you are still missing some detail where you can still see the sky in the bitmap. Use the Swift Loop tool again to add detail where you need it, and then adjust the vertices accordingly. Save your file when you are done. If you tried and render the scene, you'll notice a good deal of streaking on the faces that are perpendicular to the building texture. The next lesson shows how to correct that problem.